Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Sean from Double Clutch HD and I'm coming at you with episode number 20 of the Indianapolis Colt Connected franchise on Madden 15. Last episode was the off season, so today we're going to be looking at the first week of the 2016 season. We made some key acquisitions including CJ Spiller, Cortland Finnegan, as well as many others. In the draft, we were able to draft Duskin Griffin as our new starting center, as well as Isaiah Norwell as our I believe that's his name, as our strong other new strong safety slash free safety of the future. But today we're gonna be taking on the Tennessee Titans in their house. And so let's see what, I believe that's Dexter McCluster, who's going to be taking this one out, and he's going to get down to the 26-yard line. And we're going to take a look at the Titans' starting lineup. And they have Case Keenum as their starting quarterback today. So, uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a change at the quarterback position for the Titans. Uh, no Jake Locker, no Mettenberger going instead with Keenum. And they actually got Chris Johnson back, CJ2K. And he's going to get no yards right. He's gonna actually going to lose three yards. Adam Carricker, one of our new acquisitions, gets to tackle for a loss right there. And now here's a pass by Case Keenum. And that is going to be a completion, however, is well short of the first down. Here comes Andrew Luck. After having a after having a productive offseason, upgrading his posi upgrading his attributes as well as uh, learning from the best, he's been able to uh, kind of grow as a quarterback after a weak season last year. Here's a handoff to C.J. Spiller, and now it's first and ten for the Colts. Luck with his first throw of the drive, and he's going to give it out to Dante Moncrief, on it, who was in his second year as a receiver and is now inserted into the starting lineup. First and ten, Luck drops back, pocket collapses, and he's going to do a little bit more of this this year. He's going to start running a bit more uh, when the pocket collapses instead of throwing picks and taking shots. So Luck now finds T.Y. Hilton. That's the first touchdown for the Colts. First for Hilton, first for Luck this year. And Colts are off to a strong start. Third and five. Keenum drops back and he's going deep. Almost picked off by Cortland Finnegan. However, great awareness right there to turn around and make a play on that ball. First and ten. 8.34 left in the second quarter. This game's flying by. And now that's a pass to Justin Hunter, I believe, by Case Keenum. And, oh no, it's Harry Douglas, excuse me, a new acquisition for the Titans. And he is down to the 23 yard line. CJ2K, what a spin move right there, but he can't get, get past Sergio Brown, so he's down at the 8-yard line. Second and goal for the Titans, and they're at the 2-yard line. Keenum drops back, he's going to find his man on the slant right there, Harry Douglas, once again, one of his favorite targets now, a new acquisition from the Atlanta Falcons. Pierre Garçon, one of our new acquisitions after we signed him off at free agency, is going to make a catch right there. Third and three, Luck drops back, pocket collapses once again, good pressure, but T.Y. Hill makes the grab, gets past the defender, and he is into the end zone for his second touchdown on the game. T.Y. Hill has definitely grown as a receiver, basically becoming a, uh, going from a slot receiver to basically a, a number one option. Keenum is going to run with this ball, and he is going to be stopped short, and fourth and inches upcoming, so that's going to lead to a field goal by the Colts. As they got the ball back and they were able to drive down the field, but faced with fourth and three, they just, they just decided to take the three points with Graham Gano, who they traded for at the end of the season. So, Colts are up 17 to seven against the Tennessee Titans. Let's take a look at the halftime statistics. And any day now, here they come. And the Colts are leading in every single category. Um, they just been dominating this game. <laughs> See if the Titans can try to mint mount and come back. The Colts get the ball first. Third and nine. Luck drops back. Finds his man CJ Spiller. And if this was Andrew Luck last year, he probably would have taken a shot downfield. But he finds Spiller. And he only has three incompletions on the day, which is absolutely ridiculous numbers for Andrew Luck. Luck now is going to find T.Y. Hilton, who's going to try to do a juke right there. But taken down at the 11-yard line. But not before a huge gain by Hilton. So second and four, going to give it out to Spiller to the right side. Spiller is in for his first touchdown as an Indianapolis Colt. Welcome, CJ. And he might be our next CJ2K. You never know. <laughs> but it's 24-7 Colts now, third and ten. And man in motion to the left side this time. And Keenum drops back. He, he feels the pocket collapsing. And he's going to chuck it downfield. Almost picked off by Vontae Davis, one of our leaders on defense. And he's going to make that pick, but he's not going to. And it's going to be a pass out to T.Y. once again. And the Colts are in business in Titans territory. They're going to punt it away. 
Pat McAfee on the punt now. And his punt is going to be a beauty right here. Can it get down? It is down at the one-yard line. So a great punt by Pat McAfee. And that's basically what we come to expect from him. Third and 17. Keenum drops back. And he's going to uh, pass this one off to CJ, CJ2K. And I don't know if that was the right decision as he had time to throw in the pocket but just decided to dump it off. Third and five. Cold space. This first down basically seals the game. But T.Y. Hill wants some more. He's hungry for some yards and he almost gets in for his third touchdown on the day. But what a grab by T.Y. Hill that was almost picked off. Andrew Luck with two touchdowns on the day. First and goal trying to add to the touchdown total. And he's going to do just that. As that is a pass out to Ramsey's Oh no, that's uh, Pierre Garçon for his first touchdown as a Colt this year. Uh, as most of you know, Pierre Garçon played for the Colts and then went to the Redskins. So, not his first touchdown as a Colt, but he still gets one nonetheless. So, first and ten for the Titans now. And Keenum is going to get the snap right here. And he is going to drop back. Sees a man, but he's going to go downfield. Almost picked off. By Cortland Finnegan, that's almost that's two picks that Cortland Finnegan has basically dropped today. Fourth and one, Colts are going to just take the three right here, and Gano is going to nail that one. So, uh, 20, 24 point lead for the Colts. This game is basically over. Keenum trying to lead his troops down the field, and he's going to find his man. No, he's picked off. Vontae Davis on the pick right there, and no one in front of him except for Keenum. Good block right there by Carriker, and Vontae. Monte Davis is in with a pick six right there. And great showing by the Colts defense. Two interceptions on the day, I believe. And they basically pressured Keenum. Got a few sacks on him as well. So great game plan by the defense today. 41-10 to 10 now. And Keenum drops back. Going to find his man right there. So to Harry Douglas. Titans trying to crawl back. Just trying to put some points on the board. And third and nine. Keenum is going to find his man. Harry Douglas once again becoming a favorite receiver of Case Keenum already. And the Titans are going to win this game. Uh, or, sorry, the Colts are going to win this game. 41 to 17. And wow. Um, it was great showing overall by the defense and the offense. Andrew Luck had a stellar game. Uh, CJ Spiller contributed with a touchdown. T.Y. Hilton with two TDs on the day. And Colts went off in the fourth quarter. But he didn't really need to. Uh, the Titans were struggling most of the game. And here are the stats. Andrew Luck with three TDs, no picks, 87 completion percentage. Case Keenum didn't have a bad game either, but not enough, obviously. CJ Spiller with 71 yards and a touchdown. And T.Y. Hill with 111 yards as well as two TDs. And Kobe Fleener with 42 yards as well. And Harry Douglas with two TDs as well. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys are excited for uh, next episode, and I will talk to you later.